everyone! Welcome to November Favorites. I have a lot to get through. This is not sponsored. I don't even have affiliate links for Walmart. I haven't had time to figure out how to do that. If anybody knows and it's easy, let me know. But I will link all of these products free of charge. <laughs> 90s. I went on a big 90 kick and I cannot believe how good the quality is and how cheap the price. I wasn't sure what, and I thought, well, Walmart has a really good return policy. I can have FedEx come pick it up from my house. I don't even have to take it to the store. I'm going to order online. I'll do a $35 order. I kept everything. I loved it. And then I placed another order, and I'll get into that in a minute. But these 90s are so soft, so comfortable. These first few that I'm going to show you are sleeveless, and they feel like flannel. They are wonderful. I love after dinner washing, as Mark calls it, go wash my dirty face, and I get ready to watch a show together. And I can put on leggings, I can put this on. If I'm cool enough, I could always grab a sweater. I'm not as keen on the longer sleeves because I like to also sleep in these, and then I definitely get too warm. These don't tend to twist or bunch up when you're sleeping, so I really like that and they have pockets on them and they don't add bulk to your frame with these. Now some of these I got in a medium. If I had to do it over I would get all of them in a small. I really like this pattern with the moons and the clouds and just everything on it. Again same style, short sleeve and Super, super comfortable. This goes really nice with black leggings. It's just real comfy and easy. And this has all these cute cats on here. Get cozy, stay positive, cat naps, all that kind of stuff. Has the nice little cat sleeves, so it's not too long. This will be nice as we get further into winter when it gets even colder. And in that same pack with the cat nighty was this camo one, and it says take it easy. And again, it has little cap sleeves. I am so thrilled with every single one of those 90s and up here when it's colder I don't generate enough heat. I might take it off in the middle of the night if I've managed to get warm but I love starting off the evening while we're watching television wearing one and then usually when I go to bed and it's just so heavenly to not be cold. And speaking of not being cold I got some blankets. These are Better Homes and Gardens. They are phenomenal. This is the deer one, and I'll show you a cheetah one that I also got. And on the other side, they are the most warm, comfy, decadent. They have different patterns. They have a cowhide. They have gray stripe. They have another gray one that was a pattern. I love these. And for $15, they go through the wash. I love having blankets everywhere. If I'm going to curl up and read in the morning when I get my cup of tea and I'm doing my Bible study, I want to just feel cozy. And these are so soft. Like Mark could not believe how incredibly soft they are. And definitely love those. Like I said, I got two of them. When I was preparing for this video, Mark saw me bringing in all these boots and he's like, is it boot review day? I said, yep. <laughs> these are typical L boots over the knee, some kind of heel, stiletto or chunky, suede, totally impractical for living up here in the cold, the snow, mud in the garden. This is just not good. So I'm starting to figure things out. These are beautiful boots and they're great for down in the valley where it's still in the 80s and we just wear boots to look pretty, not for practicality. For practicality, I got these from Walmart. Again, ridiculously good price. I don't remember what it was. I love these. Low heel, really nice tread on them, so they'll be good in the snow, and not suede. These I can wear with a bootleg jean over top, out, or a skinny jean and wear them inside. These are wonderful. I have a pair similar to this in brown. I'm set for the winter. I don't need a bunch of other boots. If I have black and brown, I'm totally set. That being said, I did get one more, and Mark can't believe how, I'm like a little kid, how excited I am. I have wellies. I haven't had wellies since I was a kid. Okay, these are Walmart version. They're incredibly good. 
Look at these. They are thick. They have a beautiful sole. So much traction on here. This is going to be great for going out to my garden. In the summertime, I just use flip-flops. And I go out there, and if my flip-flops get, you know, full of mud, I just kick them off, rinse them off, leave them outside. I wanted something like this so that in the winter I can go out to my garden and not worry about damaging the boot, keeping my feet dry, I can rinse them off, no worries. And these will also be great if I'm needing to shovel a driveway or just go out in the snow or anything up here. I am just so thrilled with these. We were going out for dinner the other night, Mark's like, you're not gonna wear your wellies, are you? <laughs> No, those are for the garden. But I could not be more thrilled, and I think these were under $15. I'm just so ecstatic about this. Okay, I'll get off of Walmart. Although, if you can find things on there, they are great. And $35, and being able to return it, to me it's like risk-free. The next thing I want to talk about is glycolic. I think I've said that if I'm doing skincare, I want to feel like I'm doing something, and then it makes me feel good about doing the skincare and like it's worthwhile. If it's just like a moisturizer kind of mask, I'm like, why? I can throw on moisturizer. So what I've been really into lately is glycolic, and I've got a few different ones. I love this perfect peel. It's 50%. Careful, it's a little burny, and you work up to it and rinse it off, but love it. My Glycolic Face Wash, that's nice for really feeling like you're getting your face activated. And then this is my Alpha Skin Care, that's 12%. I think I also have Glytone, and I use that as well. Love all of them. The main one that I'm loving right now, and I've got pictures of before and where I'm at now, I want to use it for a few more weeks, is these Glycolic Acid 20% Resurfacing Pads. After you wash your face, this is a great way to get off any little tiny bits of residual makeup, but it cleans your pores and you do not rinse this. You put, put it all over, let it dry for 30 seconds or so, and then go in with your regular skincare. The nice thing about this is it has a ton of serum on there and I cut these little pads in half so it comes with 50, I'm going to have 100 uses. I also use them down my neck, on my decollete, on my hands, and then I have one spot on a leg that I'm trying to get rid of. I'm doing this every night. Love the results I'm seeing. It was a little rough the first week. I'm not prone to pimples. I had a few <laughs> that were kind of near surfacing and one was on my nose and it hurt. It was like really tender, like almost on the bone. But after you get through those first three, four days, I am loving the results. So I'm going to stick with this and do it for a month. I might continue doing it forever, but I'm definitely going to do it for a month. I'm really enjoying the results that I'm seeing from this. And especially considering you cut them in half and get a hundred, this was very reasonably priced. This is my new best friend. I love this. And this is courtesy of Melissa55. And if you don't follow her, I don't know what rock you've been under. Probably all of you do follow her. You get three of these pretty big claws and they're for window washing. You get them wet, you wring it out. I put it into, a, you know, folding it so it's into force. And you literally just wipe down your window. Then I go outside, use another portion of the cloth. So I can do four on the outside of this cloth and then four on the inside before I have to rinse it. We have a lot of windows in our house. They are spotless, absolutely spotless. I have not had my windows this clean since I've lived here. And we use normally, is it called spray something or other? The window washer, I'll put it on the screen. I can't think of the name of it. Oh no. This is so much better, and I think these were under $10, and I've ordered a second pack for down in the valley. You can also use them on your kitchen glassware, so we have one in the glass cupboard. So when your glasses come out of the dishwasher, how they can sometimes have that icky film on them, just give them a uh, you know, wipe down with this when it's wet. This is hard to explain. It's like it's a thin lamb's wool chamois is the best way I can describe it. 
I was doing some of the windows at night. Not the best way to see if you have streaks or have left anything there. In the morning, we lived in a glass house. <laughs> we could literally see. I, I just love these. And then I use them in my shower. I now have one hanging in the shower. I didn't have to scrub down all the hard water spots on there. I just wiped it down after the shower. It was so clean and so effortless and I'm leaving one of these in the shower all the time. It's so nice because normally we don't wipe our shower down all the time. We have a squeegee in there and maybe once a week. So nice to have a clean shower and clean windows and clean everything. Thank you, Melissa. Those are definitely game changing and I can't wait to use it in my car. I don't drive that often, but I'm gonna want to once I clean my windows, I'm sure. So under appreciation, the weather is changing up here. We've got some beautiful trees that have been falling and I just love it. Lots of animals in their kind of panic of collecting for fall. And I love that. They're just the blue jays and the squirrels and chipmunks and everything. We are blessed to have good workmen. Do you guys remember the trauma we had with our front entryway where it was dripping tar? And I cleaned that all up. Well, then it kept on dripping, kept on dripping. We realized the roof was never done right, so we needed to replace it. We got a guy from the valley that's going to do our roof down there. We haven't done it yet. That's going to be a pretty penny. So when we had those microbursts or tornadoes down in the valley, it did a lot of damage to our roof. We'll have to get that done. But anyhow, this fellow that I got in contact with came up here two separate weekends because they didn't have the right boards to finish the roof and they took out all these pieces of wood that were allowing the tar to drip and put up the proper roof. And then the next weekend we got painters up here. Mark sanded all of our railings and they painted all the railings as well as the roof. So that was wonderful to get done and we're so blessed that we have people who show up when they say they're going to, they do a great job and it just really is a load off your mind to know that you can trust these people. It's wonderful. And then we had a neighborhood potluck party and it was really fun. I'm hoping I took some pictures to insert in here. We had our friends come up and stay with us with their sweet dog that I love so much. And we had all these neighbors and it was a wonderful potluck and we just enjoyed immensely. It was very easy. It was a wonderful time to be with neighbors and to remember the veterans who have made our country what it is today and we're so appreciative. And all the roof and everything that I mentioned that we got done, that was kind of because of the party. And I said to Mark, we should have a party every month because then we'll get stuff done. And speaking of which, we got these uh, Slot Canyon paintings printed on a glass and into our niches on our fireplace on each side and that looks beautiful. I'm so happy it's all coming together. Just the final little things that we've been procrastinating on and didn't get around to doing and now that we have I just I love it. It makes us appreciate when we look at those paintings now. They're just beautiful. On Amazon Prime for TV we're still watching Billions. I think we're in the third season. I love it. It's dysfunctional. The dark side of traitors and government and I'm sure all of it's real. <laughs> I'm sure this all goes on behind the scenes, the corruption, just everything and it's really really well done. Damien Lewis is an amazing actor and uh, I just really really enjoy it. It's one of the best series that I have enjoyed in a long time and I can't wait to watch the show which I'm not somebody who likes TV. I don't enjoy it. I do it because that's our time together, but it's Mark that enjoys it. I just sit there and knit or crochet while he watches. I am loving this. So that says a lot. And then a couple of recipes for you. In the air fryer, I do this rosemary focaccia bread. It's really good. This recipe may seem like a lot of ingredients, but it's not that bad. Just put them into the three separate bowls and then follow the directions and it's really easy to come together in the air fryer and on a separate note if you have any herbs put them in the microwave for two minutes and then continue to monitor them but microwave them one minute increments after that 
This is my fresh rosemary and it falls off so easily from the branches. And I've also done the same with the basil. It's a really great way to use things up before they go bad or if the frost is gonna hit like it is here. You just put it in the air fryer at 400 for 10 minutes. The most important part is let it cool for 30 minutes. It has nice spices and seasonings with the rosemary and the salt and it's just a really hearty bread and it's something that is so easy to do up and yet it adds a lot to the meal. Mark always enjoys when I make that and it's 10 minutes in the air fryer and then let it cool so it could be easier than that. That's everything that I have for this month. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Tell me how things are in your world. Are you getting cold? What's your weather like? We're starting to get chilly but we still have some beautiful days. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I always appreciate it, and I hope you're having an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.